Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm bringing you your third CSS tutorial. We're going to go over background. So if you want to add a background to things, it's really important. It's something they use all the time. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to wrap these in a div. So just like this, I'm going to wrap it with a div of, with a class of wrapper. All right, cool. And then I'll just close this out here. All right, cool. So let's say we want to add a background to this. Right now, our paragraphs have these alerts. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. Um, yes, alert. OK. And I want to go in here. I'm going to give this text a text color of white. And our wrapper is going to be black. So let's come back and get rid of this stuff. Dot wrapper is going to have a background color of black. You could also do if you wanted. Um, we're just going to have this be black, because why not? If it's black, it's black. And we're going to give this h1 a color of white, and then this paragraph tag a color of white. And now when we save this, we go to our HTML. We should see that the text is white, and then this wrapper, this div that's surrounding these, is black. But let's say you wanted to add an image to your background. I'm going to add an image, and it's going to be the background for this whole white thing, so our body. So in, in this, in our CSS here, we can just say body brackets, and then we're going to give this a background hyphen image. Okay, just like background hyphen color, background hyphen image. Here you have to specify a URL. How we do that is URL and then parentheses. And then this needs to be the path to your image. So in quotes here, I'm going to do, uh, since we're in the CSS folder, we're doing dot dot uh, forward slash and then IMG. And then we're going to pick an image. And let me just drag this into our images folder here. So you can see this, I have this, just this level up touch square. I'm going to throw this in here. This is our image. Cool. So I'm going to copy this file name because it's nice and long. I don't have to retype it. And now I'm going to paste this right here. And what we should see is we should see this image tiling uh, just completely filling up the page. So let's refresh our page here. And what we see, we see the image unscaled tiling across the page. It's pretty awesome. But what if, for whatever reason, we only wanted this image tiling horizontally? Well, you can do that. Uh, you can do that really easily. Right here uh, in background image, you can say repeat hyphen x. And this is going to repeat only the x coordinate. Well, that's really easy. All we have to do is add a new property, background, repeat. And then in here, we can say repeat x. And x is just the x coordinate, so it's going to be horizontal. And here we are. It's just repeating horizontally. Also, repeat y is going to just repeat vertically. And then you can also do no repeat. Now, it's just there once. So that's pretty cool. Now you know how to title an image for your background. You can use anything. Um, let's say you even just had some uh, it, like color with noise. It just adds a nice texture to your background if you don't want to necessarily have a loud image. I mean, I wouldn't recommend using an image like this because it's totally obnoxious. But um, it's just for an example, right? It's easy to see it's repeating. So what if we wanted to be able to write all of this stuff, um, this background image, and background uh, repeat? I mean, it seems a little redundant. We're writing background repeat, background image. Well, what you can do is some properties in CSS, um, they have some like parent properties, right? So if we get rid of this background image, uh, let's just delete this whole line right here. We're now saying the background has a URL 
of this. And then right after the parenthesis, we can actually say no repeat. We save this and let's go to our document. It's not going to change. Also, if we just say uh, like we had before, we can repeat X. There we go. So background actually contains a few things. Background contains background color, background image, background repeat, background attachment, and background position. Background position is really useful to change and move around the image if you only want a certain part of your background image. Um, this is super useful for doing a technique called CSS sprites, which we will get into um, later. Background attachment is how you set whether the background image is fixed or scrolls along with the rest of the page. Um, we don't really have an example to do that because we don't really have enough content, but really the values, the default value is scroll. So the background scrolls with the website. You could also say uh, background attachment fixed, and it's going to fix it so you scroll everything but the background of the page. Okay? So that's just background attachment. Background repeat is the same thing we already did here. Background image and background color. So the order is color, image, repeat, attachment, position. So if we wanted to specify a color here as well, we could say, let's say blue because it's really nice looking. So we're going to say blue URL is this and then repeat X. So now everything else that isn't repeated with the image is going to be blue. That's really great. I mean, this is, doesn't look great, but let's check out what it does when we actually use the same color as this purple. So right here, instead of saying blue, we're going to put in a hex value, and it's 524763. This is the level up huts purple. Now if we go to our page and refresh it, you can see there's like no difference here. So uh, even if we only had one of these here, we had, let's say we had no repeat again. Now this doesn't look too bad, because here we have this. It's not super obnoxious. It's the same color. It blends right in. So this is background. If we even wanted to attach more things at the end, like a background position or an attachment, you could, you could just type it in right after this repeat. And you can add this to anything. If we want to add a paragraph background, we could say background for this paragraph is going to be red. Let's refresh this page, and all the paragraphs are going to have a red background. Okay, well that's the background, background image, background color, and all the other background uh, properties in CSS. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video. Hit us up, Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.